Morning, everyone. Welcome to the week. Um, welcome to the second quarter. We are 25% done with the year, which is exciting. Uh, but we have a lot more to learn about. So um, today we're going to talk about, we're going to keep talking about solving equations, and we're going to do ones with variables on both sides. So, um, so far, all of our variables have been on one side, either the left or the right side of the equation. But now, we're going to talk about what's going to happen when we have variables on both sides. So maybe you have something like, let's go super basic. Let's go 9x minus 6 equals 3x plus 42. All right. So notice that we have um, those variables. And they're on both sides. We have a 9x and we have a 3x. So is that going to change some stuff for us? Yeah, it's going to a little bit. Um, oh, I got that glare. I'm just trying to fix it. My bad. All right. So um, let's think about those steps that we kind of went through already. If I had distributive property, I'm still going to distribute first. If I have like terms, I'm still going to add my like terms first. Notice that these are not like terms and these are not like terms. So um, we're kind of at the step where uh, I've already done a lot of the stuff that we've talked about. If I had adding the opposite, I might do that first also. So when I get to here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of one of my variables. Now, a common um, thing that I see people do here is maybe they'd like add six to get rid of this. I will go ahead and tell you that I think the best move is to get rid of one of the variables. Um, because if I do that, we're gonna get to that part where it's gonna look like a two-step equation and we're getting pretty darn good at two-step equations. So, um, you know, whether that's three X or 9x, it's actually not going to matter um, which one you get rid of, which is kind of cool. Um, typically, I get rid of the smaller one. If one of them is negative, I get rid of that because it's easier to add than subtract. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this 3x. Now, normally we would get rid of the 3, we would divide. Um, but we don't want to just get rid of 3, we want to get rid of the 3 and the x all together in one piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. Now if I have 3x minus 3x, that's obviously 0. And that's just going to leave me with the 42 that's over here, which is great. That's what we want to do. But when I subtract 3x on this side, I have to make sure that I match it up with the thing that it's like terms with. So the 3x is going to match up with the 9x. And then I can go ahead and subtract 3x, or I'm sorry, 9x minus 3x is going to give me 6x like that. So, recap. I did all that stuff we talked about last week. I have variables on both sides. I got rid of a variable by subtracting 3x. Uh, if it was negative, I would have added 3x, whichever one. And then if you look down here, we are left with a two-step equation when I do that, which is great because we have already been doing that for a couple weeks. So here's x. I want to get rid of minus 6. We're going to add 6. 6x six. Six equals 48. And then divide by 6. And we get x equals 8. So just like before, we got to a two-step equation. This stuff we already know how to do. It's really just this step right here where I'm going to get rid of one of those variables by adding or subtracting it. Let's say we're not going to go too much farther yet. Um, how about negative 4x equals 5x plus 18. All right, same idea. Um, 
I don't have any distributing. I don't have any like terms on the same side. Uh, but what I do have is I have variables on both the left and the right side. So I'm going to need to do something here. Now, last problem I told you, it doesn't matter which variable you get rid of. That's kind of true. On this one, I would say that it matters. And if you're not sure why, take a look on this side. If I got rid of negative 4x here, there's nothing left on this side of the equation. And that usually trips people up pretty hard. So my recommendation is if there's only an x on that side, get rid of the other one, and that will help you out. So here's 5x. How am I going to get rid of 5x? Well, it's positive 5x. I need to subtract 5x to get rid of it. So subtract 5x from both sides. Those cancel out, leave me with 18. Negative 4x minus 5x is negative 9x. And then, as you can see, we're actually down to not even a two-step equation, it's just one. I want to get rid of negative 9, so I'm going to divide by negative 9. And x is negative 2. So that one is usually kind of tricky because people are confused by the only one thing on one side. Uh, just get rid of the other x, that usually is pretty helpful. Alright, let's add some fun stuff to it. Let's go. Three times the quantity nine X plus eight equals four times the quantity six uh, X. Yep, 6x plus uh, 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 let's go 3. Okay. Now as you can see, this one is def definitely different than the last one. Uh, we have some other stuff going on here. So, I kind of go through my steps. And it's kind of good to make a little checklist for yourself. All right, so first thing, is there anything I want to clean it up? So that would be like add the opposites, switch stuff around. I'm pretty good. I'm fine with that. Uh, then I would want to distribute. Well, do I have distributive property? I absolutely do this time. On both sides, which is interesting. So over here, I'm going to do three, three times this stuff. 3 times 9x is 27x. 3 times 8 is 24. On this side, we're going to do 4 times 6x, which is 24x. And 4 times 3, which is 12. After I distribute, I'm going to check for like terms. These are not like terms. These are not like terms. There's nothing that I can combine on this one. Now, wait till the next one, because we're going to combine some like terms. Then I check, are there x's on both sides? Uh, definitely there are, right? I have 27x over here, I have 24x on that side. So I'm going to have to get rid of an x. Um, my choice would be to get rid of 24x, because it's smaller. So to get rid of 24x, I'm going to subtract 24x from both sides. Make sure you match it up with the like terms. Over here, 27x minus 24x is 3x. And over here, the 24x is gone, we just have 12. If you do these things like this in this order, after that, it should be a two-step equation. Which, we should all be able to solve it from there, right? So from here, I can see, yep, there's a two-step equation. Get rid of whatever I add or subtract, so I'm going to minus 24. 3x equals negative 12, and then I'm going to divide by 3. And x is going to be negative 4. So there we go. Nice, right? 
Uh, that's that's some some meat and potatoes on that equation. All right, let's uh, let's just keep rolling, shall we? Um, let's say we have. <sighs> you guys are probably ready for the big one, right? Let's go. Fifteen minus five times the quantity two x plus eight. Oh, how much board space do I have? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Minus 7x equals, oh, let's make that plus 7x, equals, and we'll go 4 times the quantity x minus 9 plus 13. All right, now we are starting to get into some crazy long equations. Now what's good news is if we follow this checklist right here, it should solve every single problem for me, which is awesome. So I'm gonna very carefully walk you through this one. Clean it up. Is there anything I want to clean it up? Yeah, there is. Uh, I want to get rid of these minus signs. So that's really a negative five, and that's really a negative nine. And I just want to be careful about that. Everything else should be fine. Distribute. I definitely have distributive property on both sides. So negative five times two x is negative ten x. Negative five times eight is negative forty. And then this stays the same. And then on the right side over here, I'm gonna distribute this four. Four times one X is four X. Four times negative nine uh, is negative 36. And that's what it looks like after I use distributive property on both sides. Okay, so I, I Check to see if there's anything I wanted to fix, change it up. I distribute it. Now I'm going to go over here to like terms. Uh, I definitely have some like terms. On this side, I have negative 10x and I have 7x. Remember, I can only do things on the same side. So I can add those two together. Negative 10 and 7, that give me negative 3x's. And then I have 15 and I have a 40. Those are just constants. And I can add those together and get negative 25. That's the left side. Over here on the right side, I also have some like terms, negative 36 and 13. The 4x doesn't go with anything, so I'm just going to drop it down. Negative 36 plus 13 is going to give me negative 23. Cool. That's what it looks like after I added like terms. Now we're gonna go on to X's. I do have X's on both sides. Now this time, I have a 4X here, I have a negative 3X here. So I would actually get rid of the negative 3X because it's negative. So how would I get rid of negative 3X? I would add 3X. Just like before when we subtracted, only this time it's negative. So I'm gonna match it up over here Add 3x. Those are going to cancel out. Give me negative 25. 4x plus 3x is 7x's. And that's negative 23. And now if you look at my checklist, notice that I am down to a two-step equation, which we can all solve from this point. Uh, if you wanted to switch it around, you could. Here's my x. I want to get rid of negative 23, so I'm going to add 23. When I add 23, that's negative 2 equals 7x, and then my last step would be just divide by 7, 
and I have my answer. Notice it's a fraction, that's okay. We're gonna leave it as a fraction. Negative two sevenths. There we go. So yeah, uh, no joke, right? This is uh, the real deal from now on. We got a lot of steps going here. That's a pretty good sized problem. That if you can solve that, that is as excellent for you guys. So um, we're gonna do some more practice with this tomorrow, um, which I'll probably just give you like the Pearson or maybe a worksheet or something so you can practice it. The only way to get better at these is just keep practicing. Practice, practice, practice. If you guys get stuck, let me know. I can help you out only if you let me know. Uh, office hours this week uh, will be Wednesday and then obviously we didn't have school Monday so if you need something we can pop on we can talk on Friday if you really need to uh, just send me an email and I can set that up okay all right you guys uh, good luck on this practice and uh, let me know if you have any questions okay